And today, I think I'm just gonna concentrate on working smarter instead of harder. I'm gonna go to town, pick up a little something that ought to make life a lot easier for quite a while. So let's get after it. attachment and these are Yardworks brand which uh, is just a knockoff of some other brand which is a knockoff of some other brand so you'll you'll notice features on this that are very similar to some others so let's go ahead and get this together and I'll give it a try and hopefully save myself hours and hours and hours of raking Okay, we can kind of see with the box open. See pretty much how it works. Those uh, brushes are gonna rotate with the tires. They're gonna kick it up into a hopper, and uh, hopefully that'll. Hopefully those are strong enough to get a lot of the twigs. You know, larger sticks. Of course, I'm gonna be going around picking up. There's quite a few of those from the oak trees, so this isn't a. You know, gonna be the the ultimate solution but it will be uh, definitely a help okay and after what could very well be the most unglamorous unboxing of all internet time this is a pretty stout piece of equipment the uh, tires are hard rubber and they've got to be about 12 inches. And it's a 42 inch model. So that's pretty wide. And yeah, so far I'm pretty impressed with the build quality. Pretty much everything is metal, uh, plastic gear housing though. And uh, yeah, and well packaged. And there's a quick shot of the box. That is what it's supposed to look like. Let's see what we can do. way the heck harder than I thought it'd be. Uh, let's see, so it's all together. Got the, uh, the dethatcher attached up front. And the hopper is actually huge. You see the rods that I had some trouble with when you saw me wrestling that. And see, it's got a there we go. A rope to uh, to dump it from the uh, tractor. Everything seems to sit nicely. Looks similar. And I guess all that's left is to give it a try and clean up my mess here before uh, wife gets home and tries to park in here. So. I'm gonna go see if I can get the uh, tractor started. First time for the spring. And uh, we'll give this thing a try.
had a day or so to play around with it and a couple of quirks I want to show you but overall it does okay it, it doesn't do as well as hand raking but it's gonna save me a lot of labor let me show you a couple of the quirks though okay so my tractor here has some pretty big rear wheels and as you can see when I turn sharp those tines get caught on the wheels so it's kind of bent those up a little bit I'm going to uh, leave I'll, I'll end up being able to bend those back in place I might figure out a way to do a little bit longer tow bar there that uh, hopefully will take care of that problem hold it far enough back that on a sharp turn there's no way that that hits that so that's that's one thing I'm gonna have to figure out to really make it a hundred percent useful um, they, they do work pretty good though it uh, does a nice job the wheels that wheel right there aligns so it keeps it you know from digging in too deep and uh, did a really nice job of, of picking up sticks and all that and you can kind of see this is just after dumping it but that stick right there that's that's about as, as big as as you're really gonna consistently get but you know those are also ones that tie up the rake and make it kind of a pain uh, it's really easy to dump the uh, rope's nice length to hook on here and just with a pretty easy tug even full I was able to dump I'll show you a couple of the piles I got down there um, everything else seems to adjust I've got it pretty low I'll try and dig into the grass a little bit I'll probably raise that up just so it's not quite as as uh, rough on the machine you know, as the season progresses and the other little quirk, keeping the uh, the tines here, the dethatcher up. This is how it's supposed to hold up, and that does not seem to hold it. So, just a bungee here to uh, hold that up, and I'll take another look at everything, see if there's another way to do that when I extend the the uh, pole there. And, and even doing that shouldn't be an issue. The, the hitch here is separate from the bar, so I should be able to uh, you know, just extend the bar out, either get a longer one, or uh, I'll work something out to make that uh, at all feasible. So other than that, it's done a great job. Let's, uh, let's go on down and show you a couple of the piles. Okay, you can see quite a bit down here. I need to figure something out to have a kind of a universal dumping spot. But uh, you can see each each load here. Um, each one of these loads is that's about what what you're going to get in the hopper. And uh, no, I'm I'm pretty happy with that. It's uh, gets quite a quite a bit there. You know, it's just a few passes the way this is because I've got you know quite a bit of rough terrain here still has a lot of leaves as you as you can see further up so it's uh it's pretty handy it's it's once I get a full pass on everything and and get it kind of cleaned up it'll be great for maintaining may need to do a little bit here or there with the larger sticks and all that but I'm really happy with the results so far. Get all this over in a pile and then uh, we'll play around a little bit more, see how much more we can create. and that picked up 
really good amount. I'm, I'm really impressed. When I was going around, I could see stuff that was left behind and I was kind of questioning it. But you know what? For just a couple of passes, this represents a few hours worth of braking. So, all told, I am very happy with this purchase. All right. I will uh, I'll keep you guys up to date on what I do with the, uh, the hitch there. Lengthening that a little bit. And uh, other than that, I'm just going to get to work here. I, I'm pretty excited. And also just to fill you in, eventually this corner here, I'm thinking compost piles. Uh, it would require me to take out a couple of these trees and I could build you know, a few nice, nice compost bins that are, you know, oh, eight foot square and have a place for all this. But that's for a future project, like like most of them. And uh, yeah, but for right now, I'm just gonna continue dumping them out here. And uh, yeah, I'll just make one big pile right here. Eventually, I'll grab it with the uh, the pickup and uh, take it down to the tree dump. Might clear some of this out too when I do all that. So. All right, well, I think I'm just gonna put you guys up on a tripod and you can watch me ride around for a while. greatest invention since sliced bread and you know honestly I would slice my own bread for a lifetime in exchange for this this is awesome I cannot believe how much I got in just oh maybe 45 minutes maybe an hour it took me probably six hours to uh, just do maybe a fifth of what I did right here by hand so this quite honestly is the greatest invention of all time. I'm just gonna claim it right now. So, yeah, it is just absolutely wonderful. I am so excited. And just to come clean on this, this was a gift from a, uh, the, or the funds for this were a gift from a really generous Patreon down in Tucson that uh, sent a little, little gift up for my birthday, so. Thank you, you guys know who you are. And I appreciate you watching, and I will see you next time. <music> <laughs>